Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. We're back in the shop working on that DR10 that we're turning into our dirt car. We got these big old shocks. We're gonna throw them on, see if it makes a difference. So here's what we got. Just the old Amazon special. I think they cost us about 50 bucks. They're the OGRC shocks. They're oil filled already. Um, they're not bad. I'm not sure exactly what oil's in them. I'm sure we're gonna, uh, well, we're gonna drain them out. Like they're they're a pretty stiff shock, as you can see. We're gonna drain it out. We might put in something a little bit lighter for our track back there. But for the time being, these are definitely gonna be a lot better than what's on there. Um, and it obviously comes with a little bag of hardware as well. So we're just gonna yank these off the front. We got two off the back. If anything, it's pretty tight right here at the back. These are a pretty big bore shock. Uh, they're, so if they're not fit, if they don't fit, we may end up moving it out to the front post. Can't really do that with the front. They're pretty well stuck, but I think we got enough room there for that. So give us a few minutes. We'll get these shocks thrown on. And we'll see if it rides a little bit better. A few moments later. So here we go. Shocks are on. Front are on. It makes quite the difference. I don't think it quite has the right shock oil in it. We might, uh, take everything out and add some of our own, but for a little test drive, I think this will be okay. We'll flip around to the back here. You can see the back is, back is good. Way, way better than it was before with all that drag suspension into it. You can see the ride height, huge difference in it. You know, it, it sits almost up as high as our uh, slash now, I think. Um, but yeah, it's got a, got a good little suspension to it. Like I said, we're, we're definitely gonna do some uh, some oil transformations on it. We want to do a video on shock oils. Um, so we may do, you know, go right from 20 to, to 60 to 80, you know, that kind of stuff and see what the difference it makes. Um, so this may be the car that we do that with. Um, give me a second. We're going to throw the body on. I think we may have to lower it a little bit. Um, but give me a second and I'll, uh, we'll decide in a moment. So there we got the body thrown on it. As you can see now, it kind of looks like it's sitting a, a little too high. Um, the back, we can definitely go down a little bit. The front, I don't know that we can do down too much without chopping a whole lot more. You can see we, we pretty much bottom out right there onto the fenders. We'll give it a little drive and see. I mean, if we're not bottoming out all the time, once again, we can increase the shock weight a little bit, um, to not give it quite so much, uh, travel. But the back, I think we can drop those braces down a little bit. We got, we got lots of room there. Um, and that should level it out a little bit. So give us a minute. We'll change those around and then we'll bring her back and see if she sits a little bit better. So there we have it. Drop the body down a little bit. She sits nice and level. Still got lots of suspension to go here. So we should be pretty good for hitting out, running out there and hitting them jumps and stuff. Um, I guess our next step, we're not going to worry about that today, but for the next video, going to yank off this wing, yank off some of these stickers and get all these windows and stuff taped up. Time to give her a nice uh, race car paint job. And then we're also going to go through and I'll find the gear set that we've got somewhere around here. There we go. We got that uh, that gear set that we're going to throw on with some different spur, spur gears and stuff like that. We may uh, tame this thing down just a little bit because on that track we don't need that full 3S power. Um, we can kind of wind this thing down a little bit. Um, but that will all be in the next video. For now, we're going to head out to the track run this thing for a few laps and see if it's a lot better with those new big bore shocks on that we got from the old Scamazon. All right, so here we are back at the track. Let's turn ourselves a few laps and see if these shocks make the difference. Well, I'm thinking we might have broke something. Give me a second, I'm gonna run and grab the car. So yeah, there you can see it. We blew ourselves a rear axle here. We'll uh, have to take her back into the bench, see if we can get her thrown back together. We may have to, uh, these shocks may be a little bit too long for this thing. We'll throw her back together and see what happens. 
a few moments later. All right, so we're back. We got that rear axle thrown back in. We just took a couple of zip ties and made our own little limiter straps for right now. Um, but those shocks are, are a little bit uh, a little bit too big, I think. We may end up having to do something, but for the time being, I think we'll be okay to rip around. Oh, I think as much as we want to kind of run this body low, we're going to have to uh, jack it up like our, our slash because we just kind of catch on the ground no matter what we do. Um, oh, it almost, I think it needs like some more uh, like wider tires, you know, like like uh, you would run on like a late model, that kind of thing. Oh, she just folds in that poor front bumper. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera over in a minute and uh, get a couple of shots of this, these jumps. Um, cause she really folds that poor bumper in. But yeah, she definitely needs, uh, needs more traction. So tires of some sort. If you have any suggestions, drop those down in the comments. That'd be great. Like I said, some sort of, you know, like tires are, oh, some sort of tires they'd run on you. Know, like a, a late model, that kind of thing. Oh, back her up out of here. We can, we can send her pretty good over that jump. Seems to do okay. Oh, I'm gonna go send her right sideways. But yeah, we, ooh. Definitely need to go over this track again. We have, kind of neglecting it. We're getting that new shop build ready to go. But uh, that's gonna come after. Gotta get that shop done. Oh, spun her around. Oh, we can, we can hear the poor old body just is shaking and rattling away. We'll uh, pull a U-turn here, do another couple laps the other way. I think we might have to do a little bit more trimming on that front uh, front bumper. Oh, that was a hard one. Suck up over there. Yeah, definitely needs wider tires of some sort. Nose dive, we're on our roof. So give us a second, the perfect time. We'll uh, change the camera over closer to a couple of those jumps so we can get you guys a better view. set up over our, to the two jumps on the other side here. We'll uh, get a few close-ups of this thing hammering the ground. Oh, nose dive. At least we rolled back over on that one. Oh, center there again. Move us over to the center jump here. See if we can get a good center. Oh, 
right off into the side. Send her around and give her one more. That was a good one. All right, we'll move over to the other jump here quickly. See how we make out here. Oh, that's a good nose dive. Give us some reverse here. All right, guess we're just gonna spin her around. Oh, I think our battery's dead. Yeah, we ran out of juice. Must not have had a fully charged battery. Well, as always, thanks so much for watching. Man, these bugs are bad out here. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. Comment on this car, on the track. Let us know. Drop them down in the comments. Give us a big thumbs up because we appreciate it. Share this with your friends, and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget, new shop build coming up right away.